Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be diving headfirst into our first ever single player Let's Play series, and that is going to be in Minecraft 1.13. I hope you guys are ready. So, to get started, we're going to need to create ourselves our first world. So, let's go ahead and title this Chosen's. Whoa! Chosen's or Chosen Plays. Minecraft. How about that? We in a good old survival. We're just already working on. We'll go ahead and change. What do we world type? Is there something we can do? Buffet. Oh wow, we can choose pretty much anything here. Uh, buffet is kind of cool. Um, let's see. Bonus chest. No, we're not a scrub. Chosen architect as the seed. I hope that's a good seed for 1.13. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Usually that's the best way to go. Just uh, use my name. So, create a new world. Oh boy, the hype is real. So there's so many new things that we can do in 1.13. Um, completely changes Minecraft, I think, entirely. The water mechanic has been such a staple of Minecraft for such a long time. And then it's just changed. It's just changed. I mean, it, it is insane that this, this has changed. So... Um, this is a little bit different than what I've normally done, because normally I play modded Minecraft. Um, and there's nothing out yet for 1.13. Um, and yes, I did leave the music in just a little bit. Uh, that way, you know, we can kind of experience the full 1.13 experience. Um, and see what it has to, to offer us. So this is spawn right over here somewhere, somewhere where we spawned in. We do have sheep. I'm sorry, guys. I really don't want to do this, but I may have to come back and kill you guys. I I, I probably will. Um, so I am also experiment, uh, experimenting with the new uh, blending of the biomes. I have it set to 7x7 seven seven blending to see how that works. But, um, you know, the first thing we need to do is punch some trees. I really do like the acacia. And I've, I don't think I've ever done a build around acacia. But there's a lot of stuff you can do with this, uh, this material, this block. Uh, it fits very well with stone, cobblestone, all of those materials. It really does fit really well with that. That sort of pinkish uh, color that it has to it is really nice. But the first thing I want to get is a sword, because getting a bed early game is something that I normally don't have by the first episode. But we have sheep right there. And you know what that means? Crafting table for the win. Let's go ahead and do this, and um, we'll go ahead and get a few things going. So, sword. And, and, and don't get me wrong, I am a vanilla noob. Very vanilla noob. So this is all very new to me, uh, for the most part. Because like I said, I have been, uh, you know, I use mods a lot of a, a lot of time. Like a lot of times it's, it's just modded Minecraft that I play. And so this is going to be a very different experience for me. And if you guys want to play along, it may be a very different experience for you as well. And it may be a little eye opening and you're like, oh, uh, vanilla Minecraft is probably not that bad. Um, so it, it all depends. Or we may have a totally different look at it. And we go, oh, yeah, um, I'm ready for the uh, the Forge 1.13 to come out. Uh, I'm really ready for Forge to be out. So so mods can start uh, popping in for this version. But Look at here. All right, you're out of here. Oh, it's so smooth. That's one thing I like about the new new update. Like everything seems a little bit smoother. Um, everything seems to run a lot better. It's super nice. Look at that. Three wool already. We already have enough to create a bed. We don't have to worry about night. Our first night, we're good. We have a bed. Oh yeah. Well, what else do you do whenever you first start your Minecraft world? Well. A lot of people would probably just dig a cave. Oh, there's water. There's a water mechanic. Can we do it? Can we... Can we... Alright, I was seeing if we could, uh... Okay, maybe not. Maybe you have to be in a bigger body of water. I don't know, guys. Bigger body of water? I'm guessing. That's probably what we, we need to do. Alright, let's let's get out of the... Get out of the pool. We need to, you know, we don't want to get hypothermia on the first night. Oh man, why would we want to do that? But there is an ocean nearby. That may be something we want to stick near. Is an ocean. 
Uh, let's grab some seeds while we're at it. Grab some good old seeds. Oh wow, there's a dolphin! There's a dolphin! They're jumping in the air! The dolphins are- oh man, and a fish. Just sort of swimming right here. Oh, but there's a dolphin over there. That is super cool. But yeah, having some kind of island would actually be really nice to start on as well. Like, if we had an island out in the middle of nowhere. But I, I really do want to try out this acacia wood. And see what we can't build from this acacia. I don't know. Oh, lava. Right off the bat. Nice. So all we really need to do now is sort of gather a few trees. Gather a few, a few logs. And, uh, get started with this. So... Um, I don't know. What do you guys What do you guys think about this? You guys you, are you guys going to enjoy this series? Um, I mean, I know this is only the beginning, the very first step in this process, but uh, I don't know. It's going to be a mixture. It's going to be a mixture of this some modded mod, modded contents. Uh, we're going to be trying a few different things, but I'm super hyped. I'm super hyped to be getting into vanilla. Uh, it's it's a a whole different experience for me, and um. I'm looking forward to this 1.13. I've really been excited to play this. And what do you think? You think this will extend like several hundred episodes? Do you guys think that'll be a thing? Like we'll have vanilla day like once a week or every every uh, few days a week. And uh, we'll have vanilla popping up and, and, and you guys will be watching this. I mean, this is this is something totally new. And it's going to be an eye opener. It's going to be an eye opener. All right. Plus, I'll be able to learn some of the fundamental things that I am very noobish to. And that is some of the fundamental things that Vanilla Minecraft has to offer. That I usually skip. Usually don't don't get to know about. But I do know that we, we need a few of these uh, early game things. Man, I don't know. I think why oak trees are so prominent is just because they're, they're so easy to, to chop down. Whereas these trees, not so easy to chop down, at least on your first night. There's a village right there. Guys, I think we found our first home for the first few nights anyways. As we get ourselves established with some uh, basic materials. Because um, you, you guys know how it is. You guys know, you have to, you have to get yourself some wood before you can start building any sort of house. And uh, we're going to be able to build some very nice early starter homes very soon. We may even clear out that village because there's a lot of wood in that village. All depends, but we are, or we'll keep an eye out on that village because doing villager trades is a very big part of vanilla Minecraft. So, yeah, doing that is going to be awesome. So, let's see what we have over here. Uh, a very butched uh, kind of mangled village yeah nothing up here I, I do like the the wood see as you can see this wood is not a bad texture or anything like that it's just I really don't like the doors the doors just don't really fit for me what do you have coal for emerald that's actually not a bad trade right there not a bad trade at all raw pork chop for emeralds not bad a lot of coal a lot of coal for trades Awesome. We have some wheat. That's really what I like to see. Uh, the cartographer. We have paper. Ah, rotten flesh for emerald. That's not bad either. At least we get some use out of that. Alright, what do we need to do here? Let's pick up some wheat, right? Wait, is there something? Is this not fully grown? That's not fully grown, I don't think. Oh. Wait. Oh! Oh, I'm so used to modded. Oh, I'm so used to modded. I'm trying to right-click it, and I, I can't. Oh, that is so... Oh, man. I'm so not used to that. So, I traveled all this way, and what I've done is I found this little island here. Um, so I boated my way over here, and what I'm going to do is just kind of chop some trees down, and uh, I'm going to build a little house, like right over here. And so what it is, is we can actually, uh, so I came from that direction. Um, so I, I, I made it all the way over here and we're going to like have a little pier out here. So we can spend most of our time in the water stuff because that's going to be the main focus of this, this, uh, the whole series is kind of the underwater exploration part. 
because over there we have like a coral reef stuff going on. You can see the water kind of changes colors. Man, there is, it's exactly, man, they made Minecraft look and feel so much different than, than it used to, uh, which is crazy. Um, I did go ahead and uh, get everything set up. So I also, I found some iron ore that was just kind of just setting above the ground. So I was like, I'm going to grab that. So I made myself a, uh, a pick and I went after that. But as you can see, oh yeah, did that? Oh, he just, oh wow. Oh, there's some clay down there as well. But yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do some tree, tree harvesting. And you know, that's how, that's how we got to do this. Um, I'm going to also make a few tools because we're going to have to make a little mine shaft down. Um, and get some, get some cobblestone at least, because I, I really don't have any, so that's going to be a big thing. So I'll see you guys in a minute after I do a few of, a uh, little bit of that. All right, so just finished up from a pretty nice mining trip. I do have a cave system down there. We'll go visit that eventually, uh, once we get a little bit better equipment. But right now, oh, it's nighttime up here, and, uh, we may have some... Some is that a baby zombie? Sounds like a baby zombie. Oh no, that's a baby zombie. What are we gonna do against this guy? All right, we gotta be careful. Gotta be very careful with him. All right, come on. A wooden sword is honestly not the recommended tool for this job. There we go. Phew, that was close. We almost, uh, we almost lost it there. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, by the way, I did get the Monster Hunter achievement, <laughs> or advancement, um, from killing a spider down there. I did get some string as well, which is very nice. We do need to make a chest. Um, a chest would be kind of nice. Let's take a look. Let's make a normal chest. And we'll throw some of our stuff in here. All of this lovely stuff. <laughs> we have so much of it. Uh, then we'll kind of sort out what we actually need here in a moment. But I do know I am going to still need some basic tools. Um, the majority of my tools are going to be made from this acacia stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just make, turn this into a bunch of sticks for right now. Uh, sticks are exactly what we're going to need. And cobblestone. So for right now, we're going to be stuck with cobblestone tools. That is perfectly fine for me. Uh, let's do this. There we go. And I can actually upgrade my sword for once and we'll be a little bit better off. Nice. So a lot of big stuff going on um, with Minecraft. I, I don't know about you guys. I've noticed like a, a like spikes up and down in the popularity. Like this game is slowly but surely. Uh, a lot of people have said the game is dying. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I see it as it's dying. I see it as maybe the uh, hype around it is slowed down. But um, around this update, it's definitely not slowed down. So the people who are still uh, still loving this game are the ones who are still playing it. And uh, I don't know. Those are those are the really dedicated people. And you got to think, there's a whole new generation of people uh, that are playing this. And... I've been playing this game for quite a long time, quite a long time, and my kids are going to be playing this game. Um, so I started playing this game when I was around 17, 16 to 17 years old at the time, which just seems like a crazy long time ago. Uh, but really, uh, I mean, my, my kids were playing or, or I was playing this. And my kids are going to play this. So, I mean, I'm sure that there's several other parents who started playing this game that their kids are going to be playing this. And that, I mean, I, I just feel like it's going to be a non-stop, you know, uh, a non-stop game. This game is never going to die. Mainly because of that simple fact that more kids are going to find out about this and there's just not a game out there that I think compares to this one. There's really not. There's just so much you can do in this game. Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. And, you know, since I'm a, a big part of the modded community... Um, when it comes to modding Minecraft and changing the way that Minecraft works, it's almost infinite in its possibilities um, of what you can actually do with this game. It really is. It's really insane 
uh, once you step back and take a look at the crazy amount of mods and stuff that you can do with this. And it's, it's, it's even easier now to mod than it ever has been. So, uh, completely changing the game there. I'm going to see how many of these trees I can actually get to grow on this island. Uh, I don't know how many I can get to grow. I really got to get rid of this one birch tree. This is really annoying me. Ugh. Got to get rid of this birch. But yeah, we're going to start working here in a minute. Once we get some more trees growing up, um, we're going to start working. Oh, wow, there's a, a cave right here. That's going to be perfect. That's going to be where our mine shaft is. Our mine cave is. Oh, man. I didn't know there was so much wood here. I didn't, I couldn't actually see this over the little hill. But there's actually quite a bit of wood on this little island. And I, I think this island is going to be perfect for us getting started here. Uh, it's going to fit very well with the, the 1.13 theme. It, it really is. It's going to fit. We're going to be exploring the water. Uh, we're going to exp be, be exploring all kinds of stuff underground. The new water me uh, mechanic I'm super interested about because there's so much, so much stuff I've seen. Uh, from other YouTubers and things like that uh, about the underwater stuff. And I, I just can't wait to dive in. Pun intended. Everything like that. I, I mean, I, I really can't. Oh, I do see there's another island over there. It's got birch on it, though. Uh, I don't know how much I like little birch. But, alright. We do have a few materials now. Let's see. Can we make a little simple... Oh, wow, there's apples there. Take all these saplings. Thank you. That'll be helpful with the tree farm later on. Uh, let's sort of get started with a little house. Um, so, right here, we'll have a few legs of the house. Um, we'll have a little doorway. This will be the little porch going up. Perfect, just like this. And this is going to be too wide because we're going to have a door like right here. And this is going to be a little porch area. Like I said, this is going to be a very early on starter home. Very early. Very early. Uh, and it doesn't take too much to build these sort of houses. So let's get this going. We just really need a place for a chest. Um, and we need a little roof on the house. There we go. And I'll throw this like that. I hope we have enough of the log. Perfect. All right, let's get a furnace going. That is something that I am going to need. Let's get a furnace. I'll place you out here. Because we have enough coal, for sure, uh, to be able to get, get some cobblestone smelted up here. Awesome. So I'll take some of that cobblestone. Same on this. Let's grab some more of our wood. And we're going to turn that into planks. And we're going to make ourselves a little, little house here. We'll kind of trim up all of this. We don't need that there anymore. The base will be cobblestone. And our walls will be wood. Right? Make the walls wood, a little window here, and we can expand onto this at any time. Let's make a little door. And I'm going to put the door down here, but we're going to have like a little stairwell or stairway uh, going down. Let's go ahead and get that done. There we go. A few stairs. That's going to fit in perfect here. And what can we do? We can throw that down here. Just kind of, kind of making this area look a little nicer. Like I said, this is just a little starter home. And as we, uh, as we're working on this. Everything else is, all the other trees are starting to grow, which is, uh, is working out pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and we'll trim this actually off of here. We'll put normal wood there. Perfect. That doesn't look bad at all. 
I may even have to change this up. Yeah, this is gonna have to go out one more. To fit that a little bit better. Perfect. Um, and then on this side, all of the floor needs to change. I mean, this is about as simple as it gets. Like, no joke. You know, it doesn't really get any simpler than a, a 3 by 3 box uh, for storage. I mean, it, it's really that simple. Let's clear this out. And we'll have the walls here, and then up top Put a stairwell, or a little stair there, upside down, and then a door, and there we go. We have a basic house. Now, we need a roof, and uh, we're going to need some more wood for that, in which we'll just uh, we'll farm a little bit more wood. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. Now, we need to be sure to uh, keep replanting these trees. Or we're going to end up running out of wood for sure. Now I do plan on using some cobblestone for the, the roof. Um, that will help out a bit. Yeah, getting yourself a little bit of a uh, tree farm kind of going on. Definitely helps out here. But yeah, there's our little hut. Uh, we'll move this. And honestly, our chest can be moved. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But there we go. There's our little storage container. Um, convert this over. Yes. And then uh, we need to we need to move this. So it's probably gonna spill items all over the place. All right. Give me your give me the chest. Thank you. And then I want this chest as well. There we go, and then we can just throw the rest of the items into our chest. Perfect. There we go. Grab the rest. We don't waste any items. Okay. Um, now, for the windows here, we don't have too much in, uh, in terms of uh, glass quite yet. But we do have some stone now. And I'm going to move this indoors. The bed we can also put inside here. Like I said, the really small starter house. Like, and everything will fit inside here. Including the bed. Little furnace. And we have a door to keep ourselves safe. Um, all I need to do now is take a few bits of sand. We really only need... Uh, how many do we need? We need six. Six sand, and we should be good there. All right, so time to sleep. I will see you guys on the flip side. Have a so when it comes to making a roof, uh, there's a few things we're going to need. For one thing, we're going to need some cobblestone slabs. And we're also going to need a few stairs. Same with our wood. We're going to need a few stairs. That's going to make this go a long way with the stairs. All right, and we'll we'll make our way up here to the top, and uh, let's sort of set out how we're going to build a little roof section. I think right here, having a little like uh, lip that sticks out will be just fine for that. And then what we'll do is we'll actually use cobblestone pillars for the supporting section of this. All right, and then on this side, we will have um, our, our stairs here. And what I need to do is pull the stairs out just enough right here. You can't do it while you're standing on that. You have to be right there. Perfect, and you're gonna link those together. And I'm just using this as a sort of building block here, because this is not gonna be where that's going to stay. Perfect. And like I said, I'll get that going. That'll be moved. Uh, we need to move this to give me room to get back up here. Perfect. 
All right, and this can be moved out of the way. This is ne not going to despawn because it's connected to the wood. We want to keep that disconnected a little bit there. All right, and back to making this. Like I said, stair here just to get this stair. Actually, we probably just place our wood stair here. Then move over. Perfect. And we'll just continue up. And in between that, we can throw cobblestone here. Because it's going to be like that. We're going to have the interior section cobblestone, and this is also going to be cobblestone. Like I said, really simple, basic house. Nothing real fancy about it. There we go. And on the top, it's going to be like that as well. So we may have to get more wood. I don't know. We'll find out here, here shortly. But yeah, just go I'll go across like so. And we're, we're going to do the same here. This is not actually going to stay cobblestone there. It's actually going to be wood. And we'll move this one along the side as well. Right here is going to be cobblestone, though. And then along the bottom, we're going to try our best to get this placed just right. Nice. Not too hard to build this little starter hut. <laughs> That's going to get us going with our, uh, you know, our vanilla Let's Play. It's really going to, it's going to get this started. All right, and right here will be our cobblestone. And on top, I think we have just enough cobblestone to fill out the top. Just like that. Uh, we, we need to get back up here, and we're going to use more acacia to get back up here. And we'll have to break, this, break these pillars down as we go. But nice. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I must say. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. And off here. Now, this uh, right here, this little section, we can probably do the little upside down sections there. And same on the other side. Oh, we're missing. We didn't do this side. So there we go. Almost completely done. All we're waiting on is uh, the last few bits of our cobblestone section here, which we need. Uh, yeah, we need these stairs. And on this, I'll just throw that there. Perfect. Nice. So let's get our windows done. And our windows should be fairly easy to set up. I'll just throw. I'm gonna break some of this wood that we have setting here. This is going to change. And we're going to make this a little bit more homey feeling on the outside. Just a little bit. By doing this and this. How's that? That should look fair, fairly nice. Same on this. We're actually going to need a few more stairs, I think. But I don't really have much wood left over. Hmm. So we may just do it on this on this one. On the two sides, and we're good to go. This will just have it actually full solid. All right. Let's take our glass. We'll have our panes. Good to go. And what else do we need? We need pillars. Um, some form of pillars, and I guess we were going to need a little bit of cobblestone. <laughs> we literally need six more cobblestone to make that happen. Because we are out. Uh, we have normal cobblestone, but we don't have this. And actually, we may need a little bit more than that. But yeah, our little mineshaft area is actually really nice. Um, there's a bunch of coal, and I see an iron down there. Um, so we have a little... We're going to have to go caving. Um... 
in a few episodes from now. But like I said, this is just the start of our Let's Play. This is literally just the start. There's going to be a lot of episodes. I, I can see in the future so many episodes of this. And this is only the beginning, and we got a little starter hut going. Really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, okay. So, let's go ahead and get our pillars. Right? Twelve of those, I'm sure that's gonna be plenty. And we have our slabs. Now, this won't reach all the way, but that's understandable. We are going to plop those down there. We'll do that. A little bit of that. And just like that, we have a little starter hut. Let's see if I can get a better view. I mean, this, honestly, from out in the ocean, it's not a bad-looking little house on an island. It's not. It's it's a start. It's a, it's honestly, it's just a start. And that's how, I mean, that's how you, how you get started. We're going to have mansions from this point on, right? We can kind of fill this section like that. I mean, it, we're going to have so much stuff going on here. I, I'm super stoked. I, I mean, I really am. I'm super stoked about this playthrough. And I ha already have so many plans running through my head of what we're going to do. Oh, by the way, this needs to be wood there. Oh, well, we'll fix it next episode. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.